Hey Tim, this is Grant with Blue Digital Solutions. I know you talked with one of my employees, Tina, the other day, and she told you that uh, we were going to send a video that we uh, did of of your website or your company's website. I just wanted to give you three tips on something, on some stuff that you could implement to help uh, gain a little bit of traffic to your website and hopefully grow your business a little bit more if uh, that's what you're after. So just kind of starting out um, from a little bit of research that I've done using some of the tools that I have to be able to you know kind of see some of your competitors and compare you against them. Three tips that I'm going to give you today are about content, backlinks, and citations. And I'll go over exactly what each of those mean for you and kind of show you where to find them and how to get them. Um, but starting out, just kind of looking at your page here. It's a very nice, you know, looking done or looking page. It's very clean. Um, the only thing is, is like I said, we, we're going to look at content for the most part. And anything that you see that I can highlight right here, that's all content. Uh, Google, you know, when, they, when they're crawling these pages, you know, they don't see the nice pretty layout that you have and the pictures and everything like that. They see the content um, and that's what they look at. So the biggest thing is having some of your keywords that you want to rank for mixed in with your content. You know, you want it on there at least four to nine times each. Um, and Google wants the minimum of about a thousand words, uh, up to fifteen hundred words on just your home page alone. So looking at your website here, you see you know, the content that you do have. You probably got five hundred, seven hundred fifty words on here, which isn't bad. I mean, it looks good, nice and clean. Uh, but I would definitely recommend getting some more content on there. That way, it shows Google that you are the local expert in the area, and that's you know that they're going to use you to put in front of people that are actually searching for roofers in your area because they want to put that that expert in front of them. I uh, compared you to. Your competitor right here, Strong Roofing, and I'll tell you how I found them real fast. Right here, uh, that's one of the biggest search keywords in your area is Roofing, Gulfport MS. So I went ahead and put that in, and I went down here to the organic pages, and I looked to see who is the highest ranking company in your area, which is Strong Roofs. And as you can tell, they are up here in the top as well. So I guarantee you they're probably getting a lot of business just from being at the top of this area here and then at the top of the organic listings as well. So that's why I compared you to them. So let's take a look at their website real fast. We go to look at it, and we see they have a pretty good bit of content. I mean, it just starts out with nothing but content. Um, still, don't really, they really don't have that much, so it would be very easily beatable. Um, but they do have more than you from what it looks like, and they, they have some more keywords kind of tied into their website as well, and that's why they're ranking for more of the keywords than uh, you probably are, or at least some of the big keywords in your area. So we go to look at some of the metrics. Um, of your site. So this is the metrics of your site right here to give you an idea kind of what you're looking at. It's obviously where you're ranking with an AREF. This is a tool that uh, we use in order to be able to see some of the back end of the, the you know websites. Um, so you rank 34 million overall in their system. You see the DR right here, that's your domain rating. This is how much power you have. So you have 3.5. The higher the number, uh, the, the, the more power that your website has, the higher it's going to rank. So you have 3.5. Look over here at backlinks and referring domains. These are nothing more than votes from other websites around the internet that have your website listed on them. Um, not all backlinks are created equal. Obviously, if you have a link on another roofing site somewhere that has a lot of power, that's going to give you. A, it's going to transfer a lot more power to you than if you had your site on, say, a Pizza Hut website, um, being that you don't deliver pizzas. It's not going to really do you any good, and it might actually hurt you in the long run. But it has. It's saying that you're listed on 28 different websites around the globe or around the web. Uh, it has you listed for 58 different keywords, and a lot of these keywords are coming from your content. That's how they're kind of tied in. And so let's look at your uh, keywords. So here's what you rank for. New Horizon Roofing, obviously your name. Um, and then we start looking down here to see what else you rank for. And New Horizon Shingles, you know, none of these are roofers in your area that are actually looking for a roofer from what I see so far. Let's see, we keep going down and see if you rank for any of them. Metal Roofing Gulfport MS, you know, that's a good one. Has roughly 30 people searching for it, not a whole lot. But as you see here, number 11, that's where you're at in the Google system. So you're in number 11, that's page two. Um, so you're not in... This, this number right here is how many people are actually coming over to your page out of these 30. So you're not getting really anybody out of that coming to your page. But you do have some other good ones. Roofing, you know, Metal Roofing, Gulfport MS, Roofing Contractors, Biloxi. These are all good ones, but you need some more power to your website to start making these move up to the top of Google. The way you get more power, like I said, is with the backlinks and then tying these keywords right here into your backlinks. That's going to make these, it's going to give power to these, these links and get you moved to the top of Google. So let's take a quick look at... Actually, I want to show you one more thing on the on your metrics. So, out of these 58 keywords, you're getting 23 people to come to your website every single month. And then this number that you see here, this is just how much it would cost you if you were doing paid advertisement to get these 23 people to come to your website. Um, so that's all that is. So let's take a look at your competitor here. So we see strong roofs right here, and as you see, they only have 25 referring domains, but they have more power than you, and they're ranked eight eight million. So remember, 25 here. 19 let's check yours real fast you have 28 so you have more than more than them 
but you're not getting any power and you're number th you know you're 34 million and the reason for that is just for the backlinks like i said they're not all created equal so he has some more powerful backlinks than obviously what you have um and they're ranked you know not for too many more keywords than you and even they're not even pulling that much more traffic than you and the reason being is because they're not even ranked for some of the main keywords as well uh we'll take a quick look you see they obviously rank for their name uh and then they have mississippi roofers metal roof and gulfport roofing contractors Brandon, Mississippi. So they do they do ha they do rank for some uh, other keywords than you that actually will bring in some traffic, uh, they're, but they're really not ranking too good. Um, so they'd be really easy to knock out uh, to take that top spot from. And I'll show you real quick how we can you know find out what backlinks they're using. That way you know we can go through and do kind of a copycat method and take what they have because we already know now just with these twenty five domains or referring domains that they have, if we can get those twenty five domains. That tells us that we can rank to the top, of, you know, that they're willing to rank us to the top just with these. So we go through, we look. These are all the websites that they're listed on right here. So we would go through my team, we go through one by one, and we would contact, you know, these web managers that host these websites, and we would try to find, you know, ways to get your links onto every single one of these websites as well. And we wouldn't stop there just for the simple fact is we don't want to tie them, we want to blow them out of the water. That way, once you get up to that number one spot, nobody's going to knock you out, and you'll be there for a long time creating a lot of organic traffic that you don't have to pay for. Now, um, I just want to show you this. This is a bunch of different um, keywords that rank for, you know, in that area. And obviously, I've seen you do a lot of different types of work, uh, different types of roofing in different areas. So we would have, you know, we do a lot of research and find all the different areas that you're wanting to rank for, all the different types of work that you do, um, and create a big list of keywords that we'd rank for. But you see right here, just out of these handful right here, you know, 50, 70, 50, 50, 40, 20, 20, add all those up. That's a lot. That's, I mean, that's a lot of people looking for stuff every single month just in the Gulfport, Mississippi area, not including all the other areas that you service. So with that, um, you can just see how much value that would bring, you know, to your company if we could start getting a lot of these people that are searching for these keywords, you know, coming to your site and hopefully calling you, you know, looking for roofs. Um, one of the last things that I wanted to cover, like I said, we already covered content, we covered backlinks, and now I want to cover, cover citations. Citations are nothing more than having your business listed throughout different directories online. That's really all it is. Um, and what that does for you is that that gets you up here in this this Google My Business area, which I see your number three, which is fantastic because especially in roofing, uh, most people call more than one company. They usually call two or three to try to get a quote. Um, so you're probably getting a good bit of phone calls, but I can guarantee you strong roofing right here is getting every single phone call uh, for people in your area looking for roofing, mainly because of their ratings and because of the number one spot. It's a given that 70% of people, when they Google anything, they're going to call one of these three companies right here. They look at reviews, and then they usually call the one with the most reviews that has the best. So in this case, it is strong roofing. So I would recommend, that'd be a fourth tip I would give you, start trying to find a way to get more reviews. You know, whether that's offer, you know, uh, $50 off, you know, each job, whatever it may be, I'm sure you can come up with some pretty creative ways to get people to leave you, you know, reviews so you can get up here and play on their level. Um, but the biggest thing is, is making sure everything's optimized throughout the GMB, make sure everything's filled out that can be filled out on the back end, making sure your pictures are saved as your keywords. That's a big one. So make sure when you're, you're uploading pictures, you make sure you're saving them to your computer as keywords that you want to rank for. Google sees that. They don't see pictures. They see what's behind the pictures. We want keywords to be behind the pictures. That way, you know, it'll rank you for them. Um, and as going back to citations, like I said, it's just being listed on different directories throughout the internet. There's roughly 350 directories. Um, there's actually, there's some more out there as well. Um, but there's 350 big ones out there. And the thing is, when you get listed on these, you have to have your name, address, and phone number listed exactly as it is in your GMB for Google to find you credible. And what I mean by that is, say, Mandel's right here, if they're out there filling out citations and trying to get on directories, if they leave that one comma out or that period out, Google finds them irrelevant and it doesn't help them in any way, shape, or form. So if you are going to go out and fill citations out, make sure you're doing name, address, and phone number, and you have them on there to the T. Uh, and to give you a quick idea on why strong roofing is probably up there, it's another tool we use, whitespark.ca, and it tells us how many citations, how many different sources each company has right there in your area. Um, so we look at strong roofing right here. They have 53. That's why they're up there in that top spot. They have 53, and you see 81. Um, and that, you know, this, just having more citations isn't going to always get you to the top. You need to have, there's some other things like I said with the pictures, different reviews, stuff like that, that all works together. Having your website ranking on the top page, that helps as well. It's going to push you, you know, it's going to push that Google My Business, that GMB map listing up towards the top. So I've seen you already on the first page of Google as well. You're number nine down there. And unfortunately, just statistically, 
nobody goes down that far uh, to look for roofers. They stay right there at the top, and they find somebody up there at the top. But being with your position with where you're at in the number nine spot on the first page and the number three spot in the Google My Businesses, I have no doubt with just a little bit of effort, you could blow your competition out of the water and take over that number one spot. But um, as you see here, these are all the different citations that everybody has in your area. So New Horizon, there you are. You're in 33 different directories. So knowing that Strong Roofing has you know 20 more than you, we want to get those citations that they have as well. Because once again, success leaves trails. Um, and here we go. Google's willing to list them with 53 citations. So we want to go after those 53 citations as well. So we can go over here and we can look and we can see actually exactly what websites they're on. They're on Strong Roofs, BBB, Owen Scorn, and B2B Yellow Pages, Facebook. I mean, so we can go down here and what we would do, me and my team would go through and we'd manually add every single one of these one by one. And we wouldn't stop there. Just once again, we don't want to tie them. We want to blow them out of the water. Like I said, there's 50, or 350 directories. So we'd go through and we'd start adding you to most of those directories. That way we can start getting you powered to the top. Um, but once again, like I said, I wanted to get on here real fast and give you a few tips that would hopefully help you grow your business and your website and help you rank a little bit better in your, your community there for roofers. Um, and once again, those three tips were backlinks, content, and citations. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, but I'd love to sit down with you and have a conversation and see if there's a way that we could help you out. Uh, my name is Grant. I'm with Blue Digital Solutions, and my number is 706-233-3557. Once again, 706 Two three 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 five five seven. Thank you.